Hello, welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Ella. Nice to see you too. Hi. Exciting. Okay, so um, I think it's just about 10 o'clock. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's like 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll be starting in, in easy pose this morning. So if you like to sit on a block or a bolster, whatever feels comfortable for you. <clears throat> um, so today I thought I would offer a practice to kind of prepare us for this new moon in Sagittarius and the solar eclipse that's upon us on this Saturday. And so I, the new moon in uh, Sagittarius has this sort of optimistic, positive, um, really vibrant, excitable energy that's great for um, starting new projects, making new business plans, setting new intentions, or planting new seeds of consciousness. Um, it's also uh, powered by the solar eclipse, which uh, gives us this opportunity to really put power behind our intentions because the solar eclipse comes and then it gets dark and then it brightens again. So it's like this new beginning, this way to start anew. And so I'd like to work with these energies today and maybe you would like to work with them too, to create maybe a new self-care ritual, something that really nourishes your soul, speaks to your spirit, um, or maybe it's just uh, setting a new intention, a new way of thinking, watching your actions, your thoughts and your words, whatever is resonating with you today. Before we get started, I'd like to invoke the energies of Ganesh to help us on our new journey. So we'll be chanting to Ganesh uh, 21 times, Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. So salutations to Ganesh. I bow down to Ganesh. We are inviting him in, inviting his energy in to help us propel through our limitations and break through our obstacles. So taking a nice deep breath here, bringing your hands, open palm face up to the sky. We will start with the OM. So breathing in a nice deep breath here and exhaling, oh, two more, oh, oh. Namaha. Uh -huh. 
Breathing in to exhale at home. Oh. Bowing down to yourself, bowing down to Lord Ganesh, the remover of obstacles and the Lord of new beginnings. Gently open your eyes as you're ready. And we'll start with breath of fire this morning to really ignite the fires within to get all of those lower level emotions out of our system, burned away and dissolved. So breath of fire, we're going to on the in or on the exhale, sorry, you pump your belly like um, like a dog on a hot day when they're panting and the belly is pumping and the inhale is happening, happening naturally, excuse me. So you close your lips, you breathe through your nose halfway. So breathing in about 50% capacity and then begin pumping the belly and breathing out of your nose. Deep breath in here, breathing in all the way. Hold the breath in. Open mouth, release. Again, breathing in halfway. Pump the belly, breath of fire. Deep breath in here. Hold the breath in. Open mouth release. <sighs> Inhale again, 50%. Pump the belly, breath of fire.
Breathe in all the way, breathe deeply. Hold the breath, close your eyes, focus on your third eye. Release the breath. Notice the heat in your belly. Notice the energy around you. Notice the energy moving within you. And as you're ready, we'll come to make our way onto our backs on our mat. Coming to lie down gently. Bringing the edges of your feet to the sides of your mat. And you gently rock your knees back and forth here. Inhaling through center, exhaling left. Inhaling through center, exhaling right. Inhaling, exhaling. A couple more, we just wanna loosen up our hips here. Gently flowing back and forth. Maybe you linger on one side for a moment. Really feeling into the stretch. And then as you're ready, we're coming to bring our feet about hip width distance apart. Come to bring your arms like a robot. So the back of your arms are pressing into the back of your mat. Fingers are pointing upward, like so. Gonna press your low back into the earth. Hug your belly up and in, and on an inhale, bring your feet up off of the mat, bending your knees. We're kind of here in a reverse tabletop. Slowly push your thighs away from your body until you feel your lower abdomen start to engage here. Continue to press your arms into the earth, your back into the earth. Hug your thighs towards one another here. Maybe you press out through your heels. Hugging your belly up and in. We're going to start to work on our abdominals so we can really stoke the fires within here. So taking a couple of deep breaths. Down low into the belly. On your next exhale, come to tap your right heel on the mat. And very slowly inhale the right foot back up. On the exhale, tap the left heel to the mat. It's a nice, slow, and controlled motion. You feel your muscles working and contracting. We're going to go through these about 10 times. Rotating back and forth, right to left. Continuing to breathe. Linking your breath to your movement here. Two more.
Come and bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs and give yourself a nice squeeze. So be rock back and forth on your spine here. On your inhale, bring your legs up towards the sky, point your toes, Come back to those robot arms and press the backs of your arms into the mat. Make sure you're pressing your low back into the mat. Engage your belly here. And on the exhale, we're going to slowly lower our legs. Come to a hovering position here. Your body may start to shake and that's okay. Hug your legs towards one another. Engage your belly here. Push your arms into the earth. Breathing in. Breathing out. And inhale your legs back up towards the sky. Point your toes. Take a nice deep breath here. And on the exhale, again, lowering your legs once more to hover above your mat. Press your back into the mat. Engage your core here. Feel the fires burning within. Inhale, draw your legs up once more. Point your toes to the sky. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. And come to bring your feet back to the mat. We're going to come into an eagle wrap. So we're going to cross our right leg over our left. If you have the ability to bring that foot behind your calf, please do. I do not. My legs are very short and they don't reach. <laughs> We're going to tee out our arms here. And you're going to bring your right arm under your left arm. So you're coming into your eagle arms here, palm to palm or back of the palm to the front of the palm. If this follows your shoulders, you can come to give yourself a nice eagle hug. We're going to take a nice big inhale here and lift your elbows up towards the sky. On the exhale, we're going to bring our elbows to our knees, lifting up off our mat, crunching in. And then inhale, bring the feet back down, elbows come back up to the sky. We're going to go for 10. One. Two, three, hug the belly in, four, five, inhale, lift the elbows towards the sky, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Hold, hold, and squeeze, engage. Gently lower down and slowly unwind. Come to let your knees drop in towards one another. Let's take a moment here. Bring your hands to your belly. Take a nice deep breath. Feel your belly rise. Feel your belly fall. And the heel toe our feet back together, back to hip width distance apart. And across your left leg over your right. 
going to tee out your arms and bring your left arm under your right arm. Come to find your version of eagle arms here. On the inhale, we're going to lift our elbows up towards the sky. Hug your belly up and in. Exhale and crunch in. One. Two. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, come in. Four. Five. Six. You can do it. Seven. You are powerful. Eight. Nine. And ten. Hold. Squeeze. Engage. Feel the fire burning within. Slowly come back down to the mat. Bring your feet apart, your knees touch here, coming into tiki. Bring your hands to rest on your belly. Deep nourishing breath here. Open mouth, exhale, releasing all the old energy. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. We're gonna start to rock back and forth here. Bring your hands under your knees. I'm gonna rock up to boat. It's coming to balance on your tailbone. I'm gonna bring your hands behind your knees here for a supported boat. Lift and lengthen through your spine, crown. Moving towards the top of the, or moving towards the sky, excuse me. Press out through your heels, engage your core here. I'm gonna be here for five breaths. So inhaling, drop your shoulders down your back, squeeze your thighs towards one another. And slowly holding on to the back of your legs, let your hands slide as you lower back down towards the earth. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Again, we'll start to rock gently back and forth until we walk, rock up to boat once again. So this time, come to bring our hands out in front of us. Squeeze your thighs together, hug your belly in. Inhale, lift and lengthen through your spine. On the exhale, we're going to twist to the right. Inhale, center, twist to the left. Inhale, center, hug those thighs together, twist to the right. Inhale, center, left. We'll go for a couple more on our own. Really feeling into those abdominal muscles. Lift and lengthen through your spine. And inhaling, center. Bring your hands behind your knees, clap your feet on the ground, wrap your arms around your shins, and just drop your head towards your chest, your chin into your chest for a moment here. Compressing your belly against your thighs. Perhaps you can feel your heart beating in your stomach. 
feel your blood pumping through your body. I'm coming to cross your legs as you're gonna sit into easy pose and then coming forward, finding a tabletop position here. Making sure your wrists and your shoulders are in line here. Making sure your knees and your hips are in line here. <clears throat> We're going to be coming up for a table plank. So we're gonna curl our toes and inhale our belly up and in and hover your knees off of your mat. Push your mat away from you. Breathing in and breathing out here. Hug your thighs towards one another. And gently lower down, back on your knees. I'm gonna push back into a child's pose for a moment here. Walk your fingers out in front of you. Drop your head towards the earth. Nice deep breath, let your lungs rise in the back of your body. And then we'll inhale to tabletop once more. <clears throat> Coming to curl your toes, lift off your mat, hug your belly up and in. On the exhale, we're gonna bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, bring your foot back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, foot comes back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Keep going. Four more. Gently lower down and push yourself back into child's pose once more. Let your head rest on the earth. Take a nice deep breath here. Feel your lungs expand through your entire back body. <clears throat> And then gently rise back up into your tabletop position. Come to make sure your wrists and elbows, I'm sorry, your wrists and shoulders are in line. Your knees and hips are in line. You're going to straighten your left leg here. And inhale that leg up. Toes pointing down. Try and square your hips off here. Really pushing through that heel. And then inhale, lift your right arm, we're coming into sunbird. And extend your hand outward. So hugging your belly up and in here, feeling the nice stretch in your torso and through your spine. On the exhale, Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, open and stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, come in. Inhale, open, and exhale, elbow to knee. Hold, engage your belly here. 
push into the mat and slowly release. Come to push back in child's pose. Drop your head down towards the earth. Breathing down deep into the belly here. Come to your tabletop again. We're going to roll through a couple of cat cows here. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Maybe you lift your chin up towards the sky. Exhale, round the belly, tailbone tucks, chin comes down. Inhale, cow. We'll go through these a couple of times on our own. Linking your breath to your movement. On your next inhale, come into a neutral spine. I'm going to come and straighten the right leg and bring the left arm out in front of you as you're reaching to grab someone's hand. Inhale the leg up, point the toes down, try and square your hips here. Extend, stretching through your torso, stretching your spine. On the exhale, bring the left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Keep going. Breathing here. Two more. Last one, hold, hold, hold. Squeeze your belly up and in, cover that leg up. Push away from the mat. And exhale, release back down into your child's pose. From here, we're going to slowly glide onto our belly, so slithering into a cobra. Bring your hands right next to the sides of your chest. I'm going to inhale and lift your chest up off of the mat. Bring your hands up off of the mat. Press your belly into the mat. Press your legs down into the earth. Breathing into your belly here. Feeling your heartbeat in your abdomen. And slowly release down. On the inhale, we're going to push up into our first down dog. Spreading the fingertips wide here. Inhaling your hips up towards the sky. On the exhale, dropping your head and your heels down towards the earth. You can bend your knees here to lengthen your spine if your hamstrings are a little tight right now. We're going to start to turn into our OSHA breath here. Audible inhale, audible exhale. Slight constriction in the back of the throat. Maybe you want to walk your dog out, doing what feels good for you right now. On 
On your next inhale, you're going to bend your knees and look to the top of your mat and take a little walk to your forward fold. Drop your head down towards the earth here. You can bend your knees a lot or a little here. Your legs are still a little stiff. A nice deep breath. Maybe you bring your arms behind your legs and squeeze your body into your legs. Bring your hands down to the mat and inhale, halfway lift or bring your hands to your shins, nice flat back. Exhale, fold once more. And then on an inhale, pressing into your mat, inhale, root to rise. Hands come up to the sky, palms meet. Slight back bend here. And exhale your hands to your heart center. You can take a little check in here, a little pause. Notice the energy of your body. Notice the blood pumping through your body. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into your plank. Inhale, your belly up and in, pressing out through your heels here. Three deep breaths. Hug your belly in. Hug your little ribs up and in. On an inhale, bring your Elbows into your side body and slowly lower down. Inhale to your low plank, lift your chest off the ground, press your belly into the earth, press your legs into the earth. Hover your hands off of your mat. Exhale, release all the way down, forehead touches the earth. Inhale, lifting up into your down dog. Three breaths here. Still building the fire within. Inhale, sweep the right foot up to the sky, point the toes, drop the head down towards the earth. Exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest, hover for a moment, hug that knee up and in, and step the right foot through. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Come to square your hips. Lift your arms up towards the sky on the inhale. Drop your shoulders down your back. Lift and lengthen through your torso here. Grounding down through both feet. Exhale. Bring your arms out to the side. Time to bring your right arm under your left. On the inhale, we're going to lift our elbows up to the sky and come into a slight back bend here. On the exhale, coming to bow down, coming to find your eagle warrior, rooting down through both feet. Inhale, engage your core, rise up, elbows to the sky, slight back bend here. Exhale, coming back down. And inhale once more, 
elbows up to the sky. Feel the stretch in your abdomen. Feel the strength in your legs. And inhale, come to center, unwrap your arms, find your warrior one once again. Engage your thighs towards one another. Exhale, release. Step back into your plank. Push your heels away from you. Push yourself away from the mat. Navel to spine. Inhale, bring those arms into your side body. Slowly release down. And inhale, finding your cobra, low or high here, whatever feels good in your body this morning. Exhale, curl the toes, floating back into your down dog. Heels coming down towards the earth. Three breathings here. Inhale, left leg to the sky, point your toes, drop your head down towards the earth. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest, hover for a moment here, and step your foot through. Inhale, find warrior one, squaring your hips off here, arms up into the sky, grounding down to both feet. Hug your belly up. Standing through your torso here. Exhale to your arms out. Left arm comes under right. Coming into your eagle arms or your eagle hug, whatever feels good for you. Inhale those arms up towards the sky. Slight back bend here. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, rise, rooting down through your feet. Elbows up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, elbows up to the sky. Bending back. And exhale once more. Inhale, rise. Gently unwind your arms, coming back to your warrior two. Grounding down, lift and lengthen through your torso, through your spine. Exhale. Come to find your plank position. Gently pushing back into down dog here. Just drop your head down towards the earth, your heels down towards the earth. Inhale, your hips up towards the sky. A couple breathings here. Inhale, floating back to your plank position. Spread your fingertips, push your mat away from you. We're gonna come to cross our bodies. We're gonna exhale and bring the left knee towards the left wrist. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, right knee to right wrist. Inhale, back to plank. Again, left wrist, inhale, plank, plank, right wrist, inhale, plank. Four more. Beautiful. 
You got this. You're powerful. You are a strong warrior. Coming back to plank, push away from the mat, hug your belly in, hug your arms in, and slowly lower down. Come to rest your head on your hands for a moment. Take a nice deep breath here, open mouth, exhale, let some heat go. One more. On the inhale, we're gonna to come to find Sphinx Pose, bringing your forearms down to the mat. Put your elbows and shoulders in line here. Bring your legs together. You wanna to push away from the mat with your elbows. Draw your shoulder down your back. Press your belly. Your pelvic bone into the floor. Notice the quality of your breath here. I'm gonna start to slow things down a little bit. Exhale, come back down to your belly. Drop your head down. Nice deep breath here. Feel your lungs expand through your entire back body. Inhale, push yourself up. Bring your hips back. And we'll come to sit in hero's pose. Just for a moment, palms up here. Notice the energy of your body. Notice the energy around you and your space. Come to drop your hips to the right and swing your legs out in front of you. You're gonna come to lie down on your back. Point your toes away from you. Bring your arms above your head. And come into a nice pencil stretch here, elongating through your entire torso. Put your toes away from you. Stretch your fingers away. Relax. And come to walk your feet to the right. We're going to be coming into banana pose or crescent moon pose. And then begin to curve the top of your body to the right. You can bring your left ankle over your right ankle here. Take your right hand and grab onto your left wrist, creating a little more traction in the side body, feeling a deeper stretch in that left side of your abdomen. I'm taking three deep breaths here. Feel your belly rise. And feel your belly fall. On your next inhale, we'll slowly unwind, walking our feet back to the center of the mat. 
Lift your shoulders up. Lift your hips up, maybe bring your feet. Lift your hips, reset your spine. Straighten your legs. Take a little moment here. And then begin to walk your feet to the left side of your mat and begin to see curves the top of your body like a banana. You can cross your right ankle over your left leg. You can grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand if that feels okay for you. So take three deep breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly unwind. Come to lift your hips off the ground and reset your spine. Bring your legs out in front of you. Let your hands come down. We're going to bring your right leg into your chest. Interlace your fingers onto your shin, coming into a half cradle. You're just compressing your thigh against your belly here. Breathing into your belly. Massaging your organs. Massaging your abdominal muscles here. And slowly release that right leg back down to the earth. Inhale the left knee into your chest, interlace your fingers, hold on to your shin, and press your thigh into your belly. Feel the compression. Three deep breaths here. And then inhale, gently straighten that leg. Let's take a little moment here to notice how you're feeling. Come to bring your feet to the mat, bending your knees. I'm going to cross your right leg over your left leg. Gently let your knees start to fall to the right, coming into a supine twist here. You can tee out your arms to the side, or you can bring your arms above your head. You can use that right heel to gently press your left knee towards the mat. Creating a little more of an opening on the left side of the body. Inhale your legs back to center. Gently unwind. And bring your left knee to cross over your right. Let your knees fall to the left. <clears throat> Again, option to bring your arms above your head. You can use that 
right knee to track your left down, your left knee closer to the mat. Breathing into the open space here. On your next inhale, bring your legs center. Bring both knees into your chest. Curl up in a nice little ball here. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, a nice hug. And on the exhale, come to open up. And stretch your toes and your fingers away from one another. and come to find your Shavasana, your final resting pose. Close your eyes. Soften through the eyes, soften through the belly. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Let your hips be heavy here. Let your heart be heavy. Let it sink back into your chest. Notice if you're holding on to any tension in your jaw. Try and soften. Notice the subtle energy around you and inside you. Notice the space you've created for new growth, new seeds of intention. And as you're ready, start to allow for some small gentle movements, wiggling your fingers and your toes, rolling out your wrists and your ankles. Take a deep nourishing breath in here. Feel your whole body expand with your breath. Open mouth release, let it all go. Take another nourishing breath here. Feel your lungs expand against the earth, feel your chest rise. Open mouth, let it go.
Gently roll onto your right side, keeping your eyes soft. And you can come to sitting as you're ready. We're just gonna end our practice with a short, 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 short meditation. You can bring your hands to your heart center. And we'll be using the seed sound for Ganesh gum, Om gum. So we'll be mentally vibrating Om gum as we breathe in. So repeating it to yourself, Om gum, om gum, om gum, om gum. On the inhale, maybe four to five times. And then on the exhale, om gum, om gum, om gum. This is to help us center our power, to empower us spiritually and help us to move through our limitations and our obstacles. So as you're ready, we'll begin. Close your eyes, begin to breathe and mentally vibrate. Om gum, om gum, om gum. Gently release the mantra. Thank you for your practice today with gratitude. Namaste. Jay Shri Ganesh. Hail Ganesh. May you be victorious in all your new undertakings all your intentions. May you be at peace and may you be uplifted today and always. Namaste.